What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cat through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. If you like to donate, type this to The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. Um, thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the shares of my content. Um, appreciate it so much. Just saying, just saying. Okay. Love you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. Yeah. Okay. So I received a channeling and it's actually a wonderful one. So I'm going to put it out. I'm not going to make this pretty long. Just saying, just saying, saying. Okay, so the channel message I received was, um, uh, I heard, uh, standing in your power, uh, let them hear you roar, building generational wealth, is what I heard. So, you go with your bad self. I feel like, I feel like that song, I as a tiger, just saying, that's what I feel like, but, you know, let them hear you roar, baby, Rawr. So, whoever you are, you're standing in your power. Divine masculine, divine feminine. You're standing in your power. You're building your generational wealth. You're um, really um, standing in your power and building your own wealth. Your own wealth. You're not depending on, um, you know, family money or your money. I mean, you're, you are building your own wealth. You're not depending on family. You're not codependent. You're not depending on the government. You are building your own wealth, whoever you are. I feel for some you can be business owner or business owners, divine mask or divine them. I didn't hear you are, but you are building your own wealth, whether it's through side hustles, side hustles, a full-time job, part-time job, PRN job, two jobs, four jobs, five jobs, or one business or two, two plus businesses. You are doing it yourself. You're not codependent on somebody else's money, basically. Um, go with your bad self with that it's tiger energy just saying just saying i love the desire drive and motivation from a fire sign because i'm a leo sun for anybody doesn't know so i love the freaking fire sign energy i don't care what sign you are i didn't hear what sign you are but it's that's definite desire drive and motivation i'll tell you that right freaking now and that's just the truth okay vine seek out information that will help you Spirit messages here, perspective. I don't think I've ever gotten that one before. Younger man, dealing with a relationship with a younger man. Someone realizes now they were very, 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 very wrong about you. Very wrong about you. They're getting a huge ass wake up call. A huge wake up call. Things have already started changing. They're going to continue to change. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Uh, someone has realized they were very wrong about you, so they judged you, misjudged you, is what I'm feeling, misjudgment here. Um, they realize they misjudged you, divine masculine or divine femme, whoever you are building your generational wealth. It's you, yourself, and I. For some, I mean, you might have your children helping you, possibly, but I feel you were definitely divine masculine or divine femme, and you were standing in your power, and I think you're head of a business, or you are in a professional, credential licensed career and you're out there really doing the damn thing hopefully not getting wrongfully terminated just saying um or you are you're just i mean you're not depending on somebody else's money is what i'm trying to say you're not codependent on the government you're not codependent on other people you are out there doing the damn thing and i love that energy i i mean i believe the government benefits should be there if you need them but i've never been one to draw government benefits and that's just the truth i've never been on medicare or medicaid or food stamps or section 8 or anything like that for me personally now do i down people that have to get on those kind of things no because i believe people need that every now and then um a little help you know but 
Would I ever do it if I didn't need it? Hell to the fucking no, I wouldn't. And that's just the damn truth. That's the damn truth. Because I believe there's people out there that really need it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't need it. There's a difference between deep needs and wants. And that's just the truth. But whoever you are, I don't know how I got off on that. But it could be family money or government benefits. But however that resonates, you are not codependent on government benefits or family money. You are out there doing your damn thing. Um, for some, I, you know, like I've been wrongfully terminated four times in my universe. Was I ever once dependent on government benefits? No, I did apply for unemployment once I got denied, but did I go out and apply for food stamps for section eight, which I own my home. So I wouldn't do that, but no, no, I didn't No, You know what I'm saying? Spirit messages you have protected, but how that resonates. Somebody really misjudged you. They really misjudged you and they're getting a huge wake up call. Some have already gotten a huge wake up call more are about to. Um, they have misjudged you in some shape, form, or fashion. Spirit message this year after collective. I don't believe in having a codependent mindset. I personally don't. I don't believe in having a codependent mindset because if you have a codependent mindset, it creates codependency. And that's just the truth. If you believe you can do it, like strong woman energy or strong man energy, you know, that, that's good. That's good. Because that gives you self-motivation to, to get it done. Whatever it is you're trying to get done. Now, it may take you um, five million years. It may take you five years. It really all depends on your financial backing and how fast you accumulate your wealth. Um, but you will get it done. You will get it done. Hard work really pays off. It really does. There's too many lazy people out in the universe. Trust me, I've worked with so many of them. And that's another reason that kind of pisses me off that I get wrongfully terminated when I work around all these lazy ass folks. And that's just the truth. But yeah, it pisses me off. But am I going to go out there and um, mow people down with firearms or start domestic violence with them because they treated me wrong in the past? No, because um, I know they will get their karma because I know how they are. <laughs> And they will get their karma from other folks. And that's just the truth. I'm not a vengeful person. And just I'm just not. And I don't believe you should hold venge vengeance in your heart. Because just because people do you wrong doesn't mean you should go out and do the same thing. It'd be my easy, I mean, be my easy for that. I'm not saying you guys are trying to do that. But it just it'd be my easy for that. Uh, I'm serious. It, vengeance and revenge is never healthy. It's just not healthy. And that's just the truth. I don't care how badly people do you wrong. And that's just the truth. Okay, so we have Vine. Seek out information that will help you. Younger man. Dealing with a relationship with a younger man. It's the healing, growth, and shadow work inside yourself. If anybody needs to hear that. It's the healing, growth, and shadow work inside yourself. So make yourself better. Other people can do you wrong all day long. But that's on them. That's on them and their negative karma. You just make sure you don't go out and do something crazy like mow people down with firearms, get so pissed off you start hitting people and um, get the police called on you or, you know, you don't, you don't want to put yourself in that harm's way is what I'm saying. You just focus on moving on. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so Vine, seek out information that will help you. Younger man, dealings of a relationship with a younger man. Rose, romance is in the air. Unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Fine. Seek out information that will help you. Life-changing information is about to come to you soon. Life-changing. It should have came to you a long time in the past, but soon it's long ago, but it, soon it's about to come. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Some kind of life-changing information that should have come to you a long time ago in the past. Um, it's about to come to you soon. Um, I heard long ago, so it should have come to you long ago. Um, and it's about to come to you, whoever you are. So, some kind of important information in some shape, form, or fashion, divine masculine or divine feminine. I feel for some you can be divine masculines because we have younger man energy. I feel you could be a divine masculine or you could be a divine feminine, you're masculine. 
And I feel for a lot of you guys, you're 35 or below, um, or you're dealing with a younger, um, younger masculine or a younger feminine or masculine, 35 or below, because we have the younger man card. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. I feel for some of you could be younger men, 35 or below, younger fem than your masculine energy, 35 or below, or dealing with a younger man, 35 or below, or younger fem and their masculine, 35 or below, how that resonates, okay? Younger man, dealing with a relationship with a younger man. A younger, younger masculine energy is about to give you life-changing information, but beware, one of them wants to do it, so you will be with him. You do not have to be with this person. Know this. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So, for one of you guys, a younger masculine energy is going to give you life-altering information. So, I think it's information that's going to, like, freaking change your life. And I'm just being for real. Uh, but for one of you, now I feel there's at least two. Now you can be a masculine or feminine, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But at least for one of you, this masculine energy, I'm feeling he's 35 or 34 below. He's going to give you the information because he wants to be with you. So like he wants to be in a relationship with you or he wants to date you or something of that nature because we have the romance is in the air card. So I feel he's only giving you this information. So you will date him. Um, but I heard you don't have to be with him if you don't want to be with him. And absolutely, man, you don't ever have to be with anybody if you don't want to be with them. If you might need to hear that. No, no, nay, 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 nay. No, nay, nay. I've never lived by that rule ever. If you want to break up, you break up, okay? Don't feel pressured to stay in a relationship. If you might need to hear that. Do not feel pressured. Please don't. I've never let a man run all over me and I never will. And that's just the truth. I don't care if we're dating, we're married, or what have you, what have you. Nay, nay. Okay? That's not the way the world works. We're in 2022. And who? And I heard he's uh, one of them wants to give you the information just so you will basically be with him. Well, he's if you don't want to be with him, then you don't want to be with him. If you do, you do. Okay? If you do, you do, you do. But if you don't, don't feel pressured. I feel one of you guys might feel pressured to be with him is what I'm trying to say. Um, I, I personally don't want to be with no damn body, nobody. I'm building my generational wealth so I can travel and so I can get my kids back and so we can travel. That's for me personally. I don't want no damn man or a woman or a person unidentifiable, man or woman. You don't know if it's a man or a woman. I don't want no damn body. And that's just the truth. But somebody is, uh, for one of you guys, a younger masculine energy is about to give you some information because he wants to be with you. Don't feel pressured. You don't want to be with his ass. You don't want to sleep with him. Do not do it. Don't do it. Respect yourself a lot more than that shit. And that's just the truth. If you might need to hear that. Okay? Love you guys enough to tell you that. Of course, you can take the advice or leave. I didn't hear anything else. I didn't hear anything else. Let's see if I did. For one, he's going to come purvey your business services soon. Attempt to purvey your business services. Okay, I heard for one, he's going to attempt to purvey your business services soon. For one of you guys, he's going to, going to attempt to purvey your business services soon. So you offer business services in some shape, form, or fashion. 
and he's going to attempt to purvey them. So, of course, you have, if you're a business owner, I feel for one of you guys, you definitely are a business owner. And you can be masculine or feminine. You plug yourself in where you fit. But um, you have the right to refuse business services. You might need to hear that. You have the right to refuse. I've refused readings before and several of them. Just let everybody know. Uh, if I feel your energy is off, I, I refuse. And that's just the truth. Now, and that's just me. But you do have the right to refuse business services. Now, I didn't hear what kind of business services he's going to come try to purvey from you. But you do have the right to refuse if you don't feel comfortable. Just let everybody know, okay? Rose, romance is in the air. He definitely is sexually attracted to you. Okay, I heard he definitely is sexually attracted to you. So you plug it in how it resonates. He definitely is sexually attracted to you. Now, of course, if you are sexually attracted to him and you want to utilize the sex wand energy, you go for it. But, I mean, like for me, I don't want no damn body. No fucking body. I just don't. I don't. I've been through too much in life. I'm a 39-year-old woman, man. I've been through too much motherfucking shit in life for me. I don't want nobody with penis. No fucking body. I've been through some really serious shit for about four years. For about four fucking years. And it just did not, it was relentless. It was fucking relentless. It was fucking relentless. It was fucking relentless. And it makes me never want another man ever a day in my life. And that's just the truth. Never again. Unless I just want to fuck you and then I will tell you. But that's just the truth. That's just me. I can just speak on me. But my point is, he's going to be sexually attracted to you. Well, if you're not sexually attracted to him, tell him fuck off. Tell him to fuck off. If you might need to hear that. You don't want a sex wand? Tell him to go take his sex wand to somebody else. Because that's what I would do. Of course, you could take the advice or leave it. Of course, I hadn't had no suitors coming up towards me. But I think people are afraid of my ass. And I don't care. You can be afraid of me. You can fucking be afraid of me. I don't care because I don't want your sex wand anyways. Your crappy little sex wand with probably the little boils on your damn penis. Just saying, just saying. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants that shit. People want people with substance. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. He's been waiting a long time. He's been waiting a long time is what I heard. He's been waiting a long time. Well, he can keep on waiting a long time if you don't want him, and that's just the truth. But if you want him, that's a different story, okay? Um, everybody's life situation is different. Everybody's been through different things in life. I've been through so much shit in this past four years. I don't want no fucking body. I just want to be a fucking billionaire and live by my goddamn self, and that's just the truth. But whoever this dude is, He's been waiting a long time for you, baby. Baby Cakes, he's been waiting a long fucking time for you. If somebody want me, they're going to have to keep on fucking waiting. But if you want him, you go on and have him. And that's just the fucking truth. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. This masculine energy is about to get such a huge wake-up call. He, he's about to realize he was lied to in a huge way. Okay, I heard this masculine energy is about to get such a huge wake-up call. He's about to realize he was lied to in a, such a huge way. So whoever he is, um, he's got the feels for you. He's got the sex wand energy for you, baby. Uh, you can be masculine or feminine, but he's... Somebody's about to have a masculine energy come towards you with sex wand energy. Now, I don't think he's going to come off like, um, oh, baby, I want to do it like animal. Let's do it like rabbits. No. I mean, who the hell's going to want that? And that's just the truth. I think he's going to come off nice. He might buy you flowers. He might get you a gift card. He's going to try. He's going to, I mean, I feel he's going to try. I didn't hear he was going to, but intuitively, I feel he's going to try. But, you know, it really all depends. And that's just the truth. 
um, do you want to accept it or do you not? I tell him to fuck off in the New York fucking minute, but that's just my, my, that's just me. I tell him to fuck off in the New York fucking minute. I didn't do too much trauma for four fucking years straight. And that's just the truth. You fucking fuck off my property. You fucking fuck off my business. And you fucking fuck off for me. Now, however you guys handle it is how you handle it. But that's how I would handle it. Because I don't want no fucking body. And that's just the goddamn truth. I want to be a fucking billionaire and live and travel and vacation with my own self and my own finger and my own porn videos. With no man and no wand and no funky boils on their penis. And that's just the truth. Men like to talk back. Fuck no. I've lived by myself too goddamn long. And that's just the truth. I don't want you little Gabby mouth. But some of you guys might want somebody's Gabby mouth. Hell, you might want them. Just saying. Unicorn, you, uh, I heard he's uh, getting a huge wake-up call. He's getting a huge wake-up call. So you plug it in how it resonates. Well... Hopefully he's get. I mean, whatever kind of wake up call he's getting, I don't know you guys. There's almost, there's a lot of you guys on here. So whatever kind of wake up call he's getting, I don't know. Whoever he's about to pursue and purvey, but if somebody's trying to come towards me, don't fucking come towards me because I'll expose your ass on social media. Just saying. I will. Someone is about to get a lot of donations soon. A lot of donations. A lot, 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 a lot of them. A lot of them. People are getting a huge ass wake up call. A huge wake up call. Okay, someone's about to get a shit ton of donations, whoever you are. Uh, I mean, there was a bunch of them. I'm not going to count how many there were, but a shit ton of donations. It's going to make you very happy. I heard it's going to make you very happy. Well, hell yeah. Who doesn't like money? Who doesn't like financial security? Who doesn't like to live without the gabber, young little gabbers? I mean, some of you guys, I feel are young, and you might be happy about this shit, but if some little young buck came up towards me, he'd be having another fucking thing coming, and that's just the truth. Another fucking thing coming. I've been through too much shit for four years. Four fucking years straight, man. Four years. There's, I don't never want another man ever a day in my fucking life. And that is, I mean it from the bottom of my heart chakra. I mean it for me. But some of you guys, you might want love. You might want love. Well, you go fucking seek it. You get, take his little sex wand. Hopefully he don't have boils all over it. Just saying, just saying. Because I've been picking, picking up somebody's got boils on a penis. And that's just the truth. But, whoever you are, he wants you, he's been wanting you bad, wanting you for a while, and blah, 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 blah. Well, if you want him to, you go off and ride into the sunset, baby. Okay? But um, for one of you guys, you're about to receive a shit ton of donations. I heard it's going to make you very happy. It sounds like monetary donations. Who the hell doesn't like money? Just saying, just saying. So I think you're going to make, once you receive all these donations, you're going to make beneficial changes to your life. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Now, it may be with a younger masculine energy or a younger feminine or masculine, or it may not be. Tell the fuck, I don't know. I don't want no fucking young body, and that's the goddamn truth, but some of you guys might. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. And through many series of time events, someone's about to get their kids back soon. A very light, soft, feminine energy. And through many series, of, hold on a second. Okay. 
And through many series of chain events, someone's about to get their kids back soon. Um, they're very light side them energy. So if this resonates for you, you could be a younger feminine energy in your masculine, possibly. We have a younger man. Um, I think for some, you're younger fem and you're masculine and you're about to get your kids back. Um, possibly. Or you could be older fem, however that resonates. But you're about to get your kids back through many series of chain events. How that resonates and applies, okay? Um, but if you were the one about to get your kids back through many series of chain events, I feel for one, you've got a little young buck trying to hop after you. He's trying to hop after you. Listen, you should always take it. Whoever... One of you guys might not have kids. One, one you definitely do. But one, you might not. And hell, you might be in the time of your life to go after a little, have a little young buck chasing after your ass. But for one, you've got kids. If you are a responsible parent, you wouldn't be paying attention to some young buck chasing after your fucking ass. If you have kids, if, any, if you are a responsible parent, if anybody needs to hear that. And I'm just being for real. I see people that never even got their kids taken away and they are the most irresponsible fucking parents known to man but yet i get mine taken away from me and that pisses me off if anybody needs to hear that but i heard the mini series of chain events one of you guys is about to uh get your kids back congratulations hopefully you're a responsible parent love you guys and i'm gonna say